Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode. Now, I will say before we do get into the video, this episode was never expected. I literally never expected to make an other episode on the bowlers, guys, but believe it or not, these troops are insane. They are literally so damn insane since the new update was released. So since the update was released, they went from 8 housing spaces down to 6 housing spaces, and they also got a buff to the actual uh, speed in which they attack. So check this out, guys. We're going to walk you through some all-max bowler raids. Now, since the update, as I said, you can bring an extra, I think it's an extra 8 bowlers inside of your army camps, as they were reduced to 6 housing spaces. Check it out, guys. We are about to show you some 3-star attack strategies using all bowlers, heroes, and spells. And you are going to be, your mind is going to be blown at what these guys are now actually capable of. You can 3 start a completely maxed out Town Hall 11 using an all baller army. It is absolutely insane. They may even be better than the Valkyries. I have absolutely no idea. I want you to watch the entire episode and then give me your conclusion at the end. Do you think that the bowlers with decent level heroes and of course maybe maybe drop out a couple of bowlers and bring in a golem but do you think that these bowlers could replace the Valkyries as being the number one most used troop inside of the game. Just the most overpowered troop. Check it out. Now I will say you don't want to use free spells with them because they do have relatively low hit points. You do need to use heal spells and you do need to use rage spells. But you may be able to drop maybe one rage spell and bring one free spell if you are going up against some multi-target Inferno Towers. So in this episode, we are going to be attacking some Town Hall 11, some Eagle Artillery, some Inferno Towers, multi and single target. And we're going to conclude what these bowlers can actually do by the end. So we're going to make our way into a second attack now guys and we're going to see if we can take on this base. Now I was actually attacking some clan mates using these bowlers just for, you know, entertainment purposes. I didn't even expect to record this episode and then I realized how powerful these guys are. So check this out. This is a Town Hall 10 and I believe he has two multi-target Inferno Towers. Now we have no free spells, we only have rage spells and heal spells and just check it out guys, big bombs going off left, right and center. You've got loads of spring traps going off, the multi-target Inferno Towers destroyed in seconds. The bowlers are about to rampage the rest of this base. Now we've already used nearly every single one of the spells, as I said, this was literally just for fun purposes, but for some reason, it just seems to work so damn well. So check it out, guys. The bowlers, the heroes are going to make their way around the right-hand side of the base, and it looks like we've already destroyed a huge percentage. Now, just like the Valkyries, they used to kind of suck, and now the Valkyries obviously are probably the most used troop inside of the game. So have the uh, have Supercell done this with the bowlers as well? Obviously, since the bowlers were released, I think, nine weeks ago to this week, they just completely sucked, and no one's been using them, and because they sucked so bad no one has tested them since they were uh, updated and buffed last week and I just randomly decided to make an all bowler army of course the level is still maxed out at level 3 just the way in which they rampage the bases is ridiculous it is ridiculous how quickly these guys can destroy a base you can see here guys although it is only town hall 10 I mean, it's just kind of like a troll attack. I just spammed them in. There was no strategy to it whatsoever. And you can go ahead and three-star a Town Hall 10 with no problem, guys. Don't forget, we're not even using any tanks. This is without using a Golem. This is solely... 40 bowlers only. So we are now about to get ourselves into some multiplayer attacks. Those last few attacks you've seen have just been on clan members, but here we go. We're in the multiplayer battlefield now, and we're going to search for some decent bases, some decent loot using all bowler armies only. The exact same spell composition. One haste spell, three rage spells, two heal spells, and of course the three heroes. And we're going to see basically if we can three star some Town Hall 11s, maybe some Town Hall 10s. And nearer the end of the episode, we will be attacking a maxed out Town Hall 11, or maybe a couple of them. So make sure, as I said, you stay tuned and watch the entire video but as you're about to see here we are about to triple star this base now it is a semi-dead base the eagle artillery was up and alive it's also semi-rushed as well very low level walls but the actual defenses are relatively high level now we're about to triple star this base as i said i don't think we even used half of the spells wasn't even needed and near the end of the battle we had so many bowlers left and the heroes that this base was just tortured by these new buffed bowlers you can see they are raging all over the base Pretty easy, pretty quick down three star there. So if you've made it this far into the episode and you are completely shocked, maybe surprised by these bowlers, then go down below into that comment section and comment hashtag I love pizza. Yeah, you heard me right, guys. I love pizza. If you love the bowlers, literally go down below and comment hashtag I love pizza. Then when everyone comes on the episode and sees that everyone loves pizza, everyone's going to feel at home and feel loved because everybody loves pizza. 
And if you don't love pizza, then you got something wrong with you. But anyway, forget about the pizza for now. Here we go, guys. We are about to attack a troll base using 40 of these bowlers. So check it out. We are about to attack this. Uh, what is this? It's kind of like a semi-maxed out Town Hall 11 troll base. We're just going to spam them in. Once again, no strategy whatsoever. This is without strategy, without tanks. And probably, to be honest with you, we're using the wrong spells altogether. But it doesn't really matter. I just want to kind of showcase what these bowlers are capable of. Now, I will say that multi-target Inferno Tower, that level 4 Inferno Tower... If we managed to take that out a little bit quicker, this base would have been 100% 3 star, no problem. I mean, there is no going around it. That multi and target, uh, that multi target Inferno Tower killed probably like 30 of my bowlers and the big bombs, of course. But the heal spells didn't work. But if that multi target Inferno Tower, if we dropped a free spell on it a little bit earlier, then I'm sure we would have triple starred this base. I mean, look, we've already got up to 63, 64%. The bowlers have been wasted, but they done an insane amount of damage really quickly, and we pretty much wrecked the base. So let's make our way into another attack. This time, we are going to be taking on a Town Hall 11. Now, we are going to spam them in. There is no strategy to this. I cannot say it enough guys no strategy so i really do feel that these guys could honestly compete with the valkyries let me know what you think about it guys be honest with me do you think that the bowlers have a chance inside of this game now i mean are more people going to start to use it now i will say inside of the next war if we are uh, no i'm going to do it anyway just because i i kind of want to know what happens anyway inside of the next war i am going to do two max bowler attacks only bowlers or i may do one max bowler attack one max bowler and golem attack on the top two bases inside of war even if they're completely maxed out town hall 11s i want to see if we can three star a town hall 11 base inside of war using maxed bowlers or at least the majority of the troops max bowlers i'm talking like maybe 25 30 maybe even 35 to 40 maxed out bowlers i want to see if we can triple star a town hall 11 because i know fine well if they haven't got multi-target inferno towers or even if they have and we managed to take them down really quickly then we could get a possible three star using this insane troop i used to say that this troop was the worst ever made inside of the game and to be honest with you it was but now i've kind of changed my mind it's kind of like yeah brought a new lease of life into the game they're so fun to use because they're so different so mechanically different compared to any other troop they're just like the minor they're weird they're like little cute weird troops and i really love them because they're so damn different but check it out guys 75 percent we only got a one star because uh, obviously the town hall was left standing but check it out i mean look one golem i reckon if we dropped maybe a couple of those bowlers brought brought one golem we could have three starred this base there's no inferno towers there's no ego artillery left and there's only like three or four defenses. So we're going to get ourselves into one or two final attacks, guys. Just kind of spamming in the golem. Sorry, the the, uh, the bowlers. And uh, yeah, not even hoping for the best. Because to get a three star on a town or nine, I mean, it literally takes no effort whatsoever with these guys. So check it out. We dropped in the haste spell. I don't really know why we have a haste spell. Just to kind of make sure that we can get them into the base ASAP. Then we drop down the rage spell on the right hand side there. Still two heal spells, two rage spells. Therefore, we're going to drop down the first heal spell. Now, the only thing bad about the bowlers is that... For some reason, well, I know why they do it anyway. Basically, because the bowlers have quite a large range on them, you have to ensure that they do get funneled into the center. Because if they don't, they will legit follow the walls all the way around the outside of the base, as you can see that some of them do. Because to be honest with you, they, they get such a great range on some of the buildings that they, they're not going to bother going into the center. So if you are going to be trying them out and testing them against Town Hall 9s, 10s, and even Town Hall 11s, then I would suggest giving jump spells or earthquake spells a try maybe drop one bowler one bowler is six housing spaces drop one to two bowlers and just bring in a couple of wall breakers and with that army composition you should find that you can three star max town hall 11s pretty much like no problem if they've got single target inferno towers it shouldn't be too much of an issue unless you do get completely ripped by big bombs so it is time for the final attack guys we're just going to spam our troops into this uh what is this town hall 11 base eagle artillery is there now i actually start by spamming in the uh the bowlers on the outer wings and kind of funnel them into the center just to make sure we can get as many of them as possible to go in towards the core of the base so you can see the rage spell has been dropped down just to make sure we can break down that first layer of wall and now all of the bowlers are about to flood into the center now the bowlers enemy the main enemy i would say is the multi-target inferno tower and then straight after that it has got to be the wizard tower so if you are coming into contact with max level wizard towers ensure that you hold your hill spells back for the wizard towers once the inferno towers have been taken down so here we go rage spell and hill spell into the center it's only a single target inferno tower left up and standing so you can drop your hill spell very early and you don't need to worry about your troops getting fried you can see the bowlers are about to rip the rest of this base i mean 
check it out. What other troop can do this sort of damage? The only troop that can rip a base like this is the Valkyrie. And now, of course, the Bowler can do it, guys. So this is going to be the end of the episode. Let me know what you think about these brand new maxed out Bowlers. Let's go ahead and smash 2,000 likes on the episode to support these guys. Let me know what you think in that comment section down below. Do you think they are on par with the Valkyries? Who knows, guys? I definitely will be using them inside of the next war. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the channel to see what happens with that. I will see you in a few hours' time for the second episode. Have a great day. Peace out.